Hey y'all, it's Vintage Vinny. Welcome to another antique store haul. This is part two of the three time trip that I made to Old Glory in Frederick, Maryland. So to keep a long story short, there is a dealer there that was retiring after 27 years. And I'd seen a lot of the same things in there that I had my eye on and I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I make a list of some of the things I've wanted and maybe we can put it together, see if we can make a really good deal on some things. Now, I wasn't able to get everything that I wanted on that list, but that's going to be for the um, Friday or Saturday's video, excuse me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm sure you all know that I am still in recovery from my wisdom tooth extraction. I am filming these videos in the same day so that way I have at least some content to put out and something to look forward to doing while I'm recovering because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in bed, medicated, with pain reliever, and such. So anyway, so I did spend, I spent $38.25 on items to resell, and I spent $84.27 on things that I'm keeping. Well, let's go ahead and see what I got. So this cute little paper mache piggy bank was, I think it was $4, let me look. I have my invoices right here, so bear with me. Take the next one over. Yep, so this little piggy bank planter was $4. He's really lightweight, but he's super, super cute. He's got a little bit of wear and tear to him, but hey, he's older. What do you expect, right? So these awesome Royal Copley planters were $6 a piece. They are marked, no, they're not marked, I'm sorry. They have the feet on the bottom and just the colors, you can definitely tell they're Royal Copley. This one would be absolutely fantastic for Thanksgiving. Or if you have like a Native American kind of decor. So I felt that six bucks a piece was pretty good. And at the live sales, I can probably ask $14 a piece for those. These next three items are absolutely fantastic. I've got this really awesome horse head base, or planter, I guess you could say. I believe that cost me, uh, I believe it was $6. That was part of the sale. Somebody who loves horses is going to absolutely love this. If you have a western theme, or you just have like these earth tones in your decor. This would be a fantastic piece to add to your collection. I do believe that you can hang it on the wall, but I would recommend uh, letting it sit on a table. Now, I did notice it has this down here, but upon inspecting it further and glazing over it with my finger, it is just a glaze flaw. It's not a chip. It's still smooth and such. So I thought that that was a really good piece, and I know somebody is going to absolutely love that. Now this piece I paid, I think, $4 for. Great for springtime. You can hang it up on the wall. It says Japan, and that was just absolutely fantastic. That's probably about a $10, $12 wall pocket at my live sale. Probably 10 now this is really cool, and this reminded me a little bit of Karina over at Tarnished Treasures, or even Tina, a Vision and Vintage Co. This is an old comb holder, and I got this for $6. And you know, it's kind of like a hanging vanity for your bathroom. And it, like I said, it reminded me of Tina a little bit because I can picture her putting like maybe some funeral ephemera in here, or maybe, you know, putting some Halloween stuff in here. It's got a really nice intricate floral, or raised floral pattern on here. Yeah. I don't think this was spray painted. I think this is the original color of it. Very, very cool. And again, I also see Karina Tarnished Treasures using something like this. Maybe putting some of her Halloween stuff in here. There's so many possibilities with these old foam, old foam, old comb cases. For 80 cents a piece, I got these two awesome pieces from the Federal Reserve Bank in New York. They are both from 1981. We've got the story of money and we've got the story of inflation. 
These cost me 80 cents each from this dealer. I saw them and I was like, you know what? They're really interesting. Let me go ahead and pick them up. I'll maybe read them. If I'm not really interested in holding on to them, I will definitely sell them to you all. But I thought they were really cool, something I've never seen before. And what the heck? For 80 cents, you can't go wrong, right? So these next two pieces were a really good pickup. This piece right here is a footed Amberina creamer. I'm not exactly sure who made it. It could be Canal, it could be Mosier, it could be Pilgrim. There are so many different possibilities. Now these are not hobnails. They are not like pointy, they're very smooth. And I just thought for $2.80, it was definitely worth picking up. Now this piece is just a USA pottery, like tall pitcher. This would be great to put flowers in or if you just have these kind of color tones in your house, that would be a great little piece to pick up. And I believe I paid $2.40 for that. The really neat thing about the footed creamer, that there is cadmium in here. It does glow under the black light. Again, I'm not sure who makes this, but it's just got a really nice glow to it. And I do know that people like to put their uranium or glowy glass all together. If I find out more information on this piece, I will let you guys know. Moving right along into the smaller goods, I found four of these adorable vintage push puppets. We have Paulette the Poodle. We have Candy the Cat. And this is, oh boy, Terry the Tiger. And we've got Lucky the Lion. Now, I will tell you all, I did pay up for these. I paid $6.50 each, which is pretty much the collector's market for them. But this dealer has really good prices, and she does not try to price gouge on anything. So I don't mind helping her out at all and paying her prices, because they are pretty fair for an antique store. But these are going to be for me, with the exception of the poodle that might be a, a piece of friend mail to somebody. Who knows? So this cute little sailor kid doll came from the same booth that I bought the push puppets from. He was $7.50, which I felt was a very fair price because at any other antique malls that I see these at, they're upwards of about $16 to about $25 or even more, depending on where I go. So he's in great shape, and I've been wanting one for a while. He is marked Made in England by Nora Wellings. I just absolutely love him. He's all cloth. This might be paper mache or like the material egg cartons are made out of, covered with cloth. So I just thought he was fantastic and I love that he's given the side eye. All right, let me just grab my invoice sheets here so that way I know what I'm paying for things here. All right, so I don't know if I've announced this yet or not and I'm, I think I may have said it in my last video, but if I didn't, I am doing a live sale with Misty over at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter next Wednesday, the 26th of January. And she said to save some of your best pieces and that's what I've done. So some of these items that you're going to be seeing in these hauls from the last one and this one will be going to that sale. So I'm hoping you guys will stay tuned and if you see something you like, you'll watch the sale and possibly purchase it or try to win it. So this is one of them. I got this brooch here. This is probably the 1980s, you know, when Art Deco kind of came back into style. I call it Echo, 80s Deco. So she is marked on the back. She's marked Lois. She definitely has that flapper look to her. And I believe she was $6. I think somebody is going to absolutely love this piece. And I just was immediately attracted to it when I found it. Somebody who is a brooch lover is going to want to get their hands on that. I found this hilarious ashtray. It's of a donkey. And that cost me $4. So I, I don't know what possessed me to pick that up. I just thought it was hilarious. It's a Japanese piece. It's got a... Swan with a T mark on it, but that was just awesome. I couldn't resist that for four bucks. 
For my junk jar, I got an Ike in 56 pin. I think that was $4 as well if I didn't say that already, but yeah. Again, when it comes to something like this, I'll pay up a little bit. Because I know people do collect political memorabilia depending on what it is. I believe this guy here, this little pinecone kid or punk pinecone gnome was only $4. It was either $4 or $4.50. Nope, $4. That's what I paid for him. He's in pretty good shape, and usually I see people ask a lot more than four for him, so when I saw him sitting in this booth, I had to have him. So this was just a pencil sharpener ceramic. I don't know who it's supposed to be, maybe one of the seven dwarfs from Snow White. There is not a mark for Walt Disney Productions, so I don't know. Oh, uh, wait a minute, is this not as old as I think it is? Oh, it says Shanghai, China. Maybe this is older. I don't think that they would say it's a, it would say Shanghai China on it if it was, you know, newer. And that was what two dollars I think. Yep, it was only two dollars. Now these next few pieces I did end up paying up for. This is a really cool piece. This is an old, I believe, like a perfume bottle from the 1920s. Don't you guys see Betty Boop's face on this? Now, originally the price was $25. I would have never paid that for something so little. So with the discount, I got it for 10, which is still paying up, but I've never ever seen this before. And it's just super unique, super, super cool, and will definitely be going into a junk, my junk jar to protect it for years to come. But isn't that just fantastic? It's definitely looking like Betty Boop. Again, another item that I did end up paying up for is this matchbook cover. It's all shells. Uh, it says, Le Petit Safety Matches, made in Sweden. It was originally $25, but with the sale, it dropped it down to 10, which does seem like quite a bit, but again, it is one of those really unique pieces, something I've never seen before. I will more than likely be putting that into my junk jar as well to protect it and make sure that it does not get damaged. But isn't that just neat? I mean, sometimes it's worth it to pay up for something that's really unique. Am I wrong? So this was a really neat wallet. I really liked the aircraft design on it. I've never seen this before, and I think with the discount, I only wound up spending like $2 on it, but look at that. I mean, this is definitely old school. Heck, if it wasn't in rough shape, I probably would use it, but I don't think it would hold everything that I have. And it's marked genuine leather. It's got a spot to hold your cash and your coins. Just amazing. And again, I do believe that that was only $2. Let's see. Yeah, it was only two $2. What a deal. Now, there is one other piece that I would like to share with you all, and I think it is super fantastic. So it turns out that this perfume bottle was made in probably the 1930s or 1940s by Karoff. They came in sets, and they were kind of like a novelty item that you would buy back in the day. Still a really cool piece. And the last item I would like to share with you all in this haul is this really awesome memory box that I found underneath a bunch of things in this booth. I got it for $6 and it has some really great stuff. I don't wanna go through it all because I don't want this video to be umpteen hours long. So let me go ahead and open it up and give you a little sneak peek. I do promise that I will go ahead and film me going through this. So here's what it looks like when you open it up. We've got some leather pieces, this right here. Very intricate and detailed, I really like that. And we've got a hymns book, which let's see if it has a date in it. Open it up real quick, sorry guys, I'm doing this one-handed. So it looks like it's from, oh, it's, it says 1862, but that's, that doesn't really matter, I think, here we go. Maybe this is from the 1870s, because look, 1876, wow, that's amazing if that really is that old. And then we've got a family picture right here. 
definitely got some age to it. WFIL TV6, this is... Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I know that's probably Larry... Ferran? Ferrani? So that's really neat. And just a few more pieces, guys. I don't want to go through the entire thing. This looks like just a note. Here's a really old picture of it. It looks like two gentlemen in front of an old store, and he's on a bike. This is an amazing picture. Look at that group of people in that old automobile. How amazing is that? So I think that's all I'm gonna share with you all that's in here. I don't want to give away everything because I don't even know what's in here. So that is everything that I would like to share with you today. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items from this haul. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. The link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.